Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I have my weekly Woolworth shopping haul to share with you. This is for our family of three, my husband, myself, our 14 year old son, and we have two German Shepherds by the name of Axel and Bella. Uh, now, this is our weekly shop. It is um, a different shop this week, but this is hopefully what my normal shop is going to kind of look like. I am trying to be a little bit more conscious about what I'm buying, um, trying to get a little bit better value for money, although, you know, we still have to work in with what works with our family. So it's a, it seems to be a smaller shop. I've spent a little bit more money, but I've got lots of meat because I had um, sort of run down on our, our meat and stuff that we had last week. So it is technically a, a normal week. We've just been advised that Kale is going to be away at a uh, venturer's camp, which is the next level up from Scouts, um, from Friday to Sunday. And then next weekend, he's actually away from Saturday to Monday doing a pre-Australian Jamboree camp uh, in Perth. They're going to fly up for that. And also my husband's got bowls and then he's driving to Perth for his football team's grand final. So um, he's going to be away as well. So next weekend, I'll probably just be eating what's in the cupboard. But I thought if I got enough meat that I could possibly, you know, potentially make enough meals to kind of get us through uh, for the next two weeks. So next week I've only got to buy a few things, but we'll see how we go. So we've got, to start off with, Kale has some smoked ham. Now I've still got quite a large piece left last week, um, but like I said, I'm not sure whether I'll even do a shop next week. I'll, I'll, I think I'm going to need to because I'm going to need sort of like fruit and veggies and stuff, but... Um, yeah, so I've got one just so we've got a spare in the in the fridge. It is called the Woolworths Smoked Gourmet Smoked Ham Half. This is twenty two dollars a kilo. So this piece six hundred and fourteen grams was thirteen dollars fifty one. I got a piece of broccoli, and that today it was four dollars fifty a kilo, which was a special price. So that was only a dollar twenty six. The red capsicums were also on special. Well, but all the capsicums are on special this week. I got a little red one only because the ones that were there weren't looking too great. So it's only 194 grams. That's so a dollar 73. But the green ones were nice and big and fresh. So I did get a great big fresh one. Uh, so that was 359 grams. So a price of three dollars twenty. The dog food, uh, the grain-free dog food, is definitely going down better with our pups. So, oh, I shouldn't say pups, with our papa dogs. So Axel is six, Bella is 10 months. So we have them on the grain free uh, with their dog kibble. And I've got a story about the yogurt. I'll share that in a minute. So the grain free nutrition, the adult dog, this is the nature's goodness. Roast meat with a sweet potato. They're 2.15 kilos. And I cut this into quarters and they share that at night with their biscuits and yogurt. And they also have bickies in the morning as well. Now the bickies they have are the special nutrition ones. Um, they're grain free. They come from my husband's work. So they're quite expensive, but we buy them by the big kind of 15 kilo bag. Um, nature's goodness, grain free. This is the roast turkey and steamed vegetables. They were on special for $7.20 each today. So one of each of those. I needed some sour cream just for the cooking this week. Um, 200 meals, $3.50. I have got markets next weekend, but or this weekend, but I do have sour cream and cream already in the fridge ready to go. Um, left over from you know the last week or two when I've been buying an extra couple. Uh, Harlow milk, I got the three litres this week. That uh, is Australian Harlow milk, which is high calcium, low fat. Um, and that was three dollars. No, sorry, that was four dollars fifty. The Hillview block of cheese because I was out of my big block of cheese. The Hillview one is just as tasty. Um, the one kilo blocks are nine dollars. And then I have got um, ninety-seven percent fat-free cottage cheese this week. It is the Brand Court brand, uh, and it's obviously a Woolies one because this was my. Um, everyday extra perk which is just a freebie so this is <gasps> excuse me i've got the hiccups this isn't one that i have to do a review on i just get one free product a month as being part of the everyday extra 
uh, rewards program. So we got that one. So I'll be interested to try that out and see how it goes. Now, I normally get the Brown's natural yogurt for the dogs to have a tablespoonful on the top of their meals. But <coughs> Woolies doesn't have any and there was no shelf label. So I'm concerned they've actually uh, have decided to discontinue that line or not stock it in our local Woolies. We are remote WA. We're 800 kilometres from Perth. So we don't have everything that some of the big woolies have. So um, out of the dog fridge, I thought I would try this one. This is a Chobani Daily Dollop. It's a yogurt for dogs, um, but it's a 300 gram jar or tub, and it was four dollars. So normally, I think I pay a dollar eighty or two dollars or something for the 200 grams. So it's a bit more expensive, but we'll try them on that and see how they go. If not, um, I know that the local IGA that's closest to us doesn't stock that natural yog Brown's natural yoga either. So yeah, I don't know what we'll do. We'll just have to play that one by ear. So I've got that one and we'll see how they go. Kale's drink today was the Brown's um, Shake and Shake Vanilla. Now Brown's, I'm pretty sure, used to be just a WA brand. Um, just seeing if it's got where it's made. Yeah, it is. It is a WA one. So I'm not quite sure whether you can get it in um, in other states, but that's why a lot of our stuff seems to be Browns because it is um, a really good brand. So we've got that one. Uh, that's two ninety five. I've got some Greek style feta. Now you'll notice, obviously, by what I'm buying, I'm back on my keto menu plans. I do. Not 100% keto, and it's not really, it's probably more what they call a dirty keto, which is like the cheats one. Uh, but what I tend to do is I go through the meal plans and I buy the things that are required for the evening meals and then cook it however I see fit when I get home. So sometimes I'll do what's on the menu plan, sometimes I won't. But because I'm shopping with those products, I have those in the cupboard. So I much makes it much easier to sort of cook a little bit healthier because I, I try not to have too many cheap things at home we still have our um, treats and things but I try to sort of do better so um, we do have quite a lot of like Greek salads and things when the weather warms up so um, and then feta's good crumbled on all sorts of dishes so we're back to having feta in the fridge that's 200 grams for three dollars thirty and one of my meals also had the blue cheese and I have actually done over time, I think I've gone through it a couple of times on my meal plans, pork with um, your melt blue cheese in a saucepan, like only a couple of tablespoonfuls. You sort of stir it until it's sort of melty and gooey and then you add in some cream and you can even add a bit of Parmesan cheese um, and that's actually a keto dressing. So you can have that on broccoli and pork and things and it's really quite tasty and can be quite filling if you're just having a piece of pork with some broccoli. So so we're back to having this in the fridges too. So this is 100 grams, it's $4.40, but we'll probably get three or four different ones out of that one piece. Um, my husband and my son told me they don't like blue cheese, but they love that blue cheese cream sauce. So um, go figure. I have no idea. It's obviously just a mind over matter thing. Uh, so we've got that one. Um, Shea Parmesan. This is just the Woolworths Australian Shea Parmesan. It's 250 grams for $6. And then some more mozzarella cheese. So this is just Australian mozzarella. It's 500 grams for $7.70. So that is for toasted sandwiches that my boys make. It's for, I say my boys, my husband and my son. Um, also, they put extra on like pizzas if they're putting them in the air fryer, things like that. I do have pizza bases in the freezer that they'll just put... Um, um, some pizza sauce with um, some different se flavours of seasonings and cheese and just cook them like that. They're really tasty and they're actually really, really cheap. So that is another one. Um, I've got some smoked salmon. This is just for me because I will cook an egg, have smoked salmon and avocado for breakfast uh, before I go to work. Sometimes I'll have one piece of multigrain bread. Sometimes I'll just have it without so Ocean Blue Smoked Salmon, 100 grams for $8. So that will probably do for my three breakfasts this week. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because I am back at work tomorrow. Uh, then we've got some chicken thigh fillet. This is 580 grams for $10.15, so $17.50 a kilo. 
thinking I've got some veggies I need to use up, so I'm thinking of doing a stir fry, like chicken and veg stir fry with that one. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Otherwise, I do have some things to use up, and I might do a um, like a tikka masala because I can pop veggies in that too. So one or the other we'll do with that one. Pork scotch fillets. I have got some Brussels sprouts because they were on clearance. So this will either have broccoli, but probably Brussels sprouts. So you cook Brussels sprouts and bacon with some sour cream um, seasonings and then right at the end stir sour cream and top it on top of your pork fillet. Um, yes, we do eat the same kind of meals, um, but some of these ones are quick and easy and I can have them on the table in less than 20 minutes. So they're the things we do on the weeknights when I'm in a hurry and we've got lots on the go. And it saves us reaching for those cheaper, yucky alternatives. So 600 grams of pork scotch fillet for $12. There's three pieces there, which will give us one each. Um, I have some beef mince. This will potentially be a, a taco salad or something. Last week it actually turned into um, my, my pasta bake on the, on the stovetop. I, I cooked the mince in my wok with a heap of seasonings, pasta sauce, um, beef stock, add a packet of noodles, pop the lid on and just let the noodles cook in the mint sauce and then just stir some um, cheese through it at the end. And it makes a really yummy meal and that will feed all of us for two meals and sometimes a bit left over. So it goes a long way. Um, 500 grams of beef beef mint, $6.50. I did get some porterhouse steaks this week because it'll either be like a steak and salad kind of night or I could slice this to put with some stir fry veggies um, or in a like a salad. Um, four pieces. It was $18.14 because it's $24 a kilo. And this is 756 grams. It's got a little bit of fat at the top. But when I checked, the ones on the bottom have had the fat cut off. Some of the other packets, the fat was like way thicker than that. Um, but these ones, at least that's been cut off there. So they'll be fairly decent size. They aren't overly thick, those ones either, which is really good. Um, so I got those... Um, then what have I got? Oh, the big packet of sausages. So um, Bella was having sausages when she was going to dog club. Because of my back, I haven't been able to take her for a while. And she's now come on to heat, so I can't take her until she's over that. And then I'll probably take and have her fixed up. So um, it'll be a bit longer before we get back there. But I thought, well, I can have we can have sausages with onion gravy and mash, which not, I know is not a keto one, but that's a, a cheap one as well for us. Or um, I'll cook some sausages and have them to take to work with my salad. And then I can have some sausages maybe cooked up and sliced up in the freezer ready for Bella as well. So, uh, But I have noticed these have come down. These used to be $12, now they're $11 um, for 26 uh, sausages, 1.8 kilos. Uh, then I have my um, passata, which is what I use to make the tikka masala. So tikka masala is your chicken. Diced up with the flavorist tikka masala spice blend, half a jar of this, a couple of cups of veggies, let it cook for 25 minutes, stir some sour cream through it and have rice. Have it with rice. So that's that's it. Simple, simple, simple. And um, my boys do like that. So that jar was $2. Um, I've been sleeping that great. So I thought I would try and go back on the, the vitamins again. So this is a Swiss Ultra Boost Sleep that's assist natural restful sleep helps relieve nervous tension because my mind sometimes just goes a bit haywire so i got these over 60 tablets at half price at $14.75 and for kale um, i did grab him these not so much as a cereal but i thought he might like them just as a snack because he he'll be the sort of kid like i don't get fruit loops and things very often but he won't have them with milk he'll just have them like in a bowl dry as a snack after school so uh, i thought he might like these so the cocoa pops pillows the chopped brownie flavor um and they were half price at three dollars fifty but for his cereal i did get a little packet of nutri grain because these were half price as well so that's a 290 gram box for three dollars fifty uh, apple slices because he was um only got a few left in the cupboard so that probably won't see the week out so they're 200 grams of woolworth apple slices for three dollars oh i'd like to say it's 84 but the docket's a little bit smudged i can't quite see that and then I got the um, Alina's Artisan Crackers. These are the fig and black olive. I thought these might be nice with some of this cottage cheese just popped on top. So 
Uh, once I got the cottage cheese, I did grab these. They were half price at $2.25. Um, but I don't mind these with a bit of soft cheese or if I'm just looking for something a little bit dry, um, you know, to snack on. So they're the fruit and seed crackers. Uh, yeah, so I've got those. Then um, I have got, now this is not the condition it was when I bought it. Because as you can see, my husband's been into it. He got home just as I was unpacking all the groceries and decided he was going to have some. Kale's got home from school and he has helped me get everything on the table. But in the meantime, he's had one too. So I don't know how many are left in there, but they won't last long. So the Kit Kat share pack, they were on special today. It's 11 pieces for $3.50. And I did see that these um, dairy milk slices, these are the crackle ones. These were on special for a dollar each. So I did get these ones instead of a block of chocolate for him today because the blocks of chocolate were three for $15 and some were two for 10. And I wasn't paying that for chocolate because as you can tell, when there's chocolate in the house, my boys sniff out chocolate, they'll just eat it. So that's what we've got. Um, I've got another little table salt. This is what I just use to like salt my um, water before adding pasta and um, potatoes and stuff like that. So it's just sits in the cupboard for pretty much that purpose. So I just got a small one of those. That was $2.80. Uh, I got some almonds. So they are just a snack, but they are also in one of my menu plans this week. I'm just not 100% sure what that was for, but I didn't have any almonds. So I just got some of the Australian natural almonds. They're 400 grams and they're on special for $6.50. Then I will go around the other side and I'll go through the fresh stuff with you. So a bag of Bnex today. So 400 grams of those. They were $5.50. A bunch of spring onions. So I'll put them in the stir fry and, you know, salads and chopped up in whatever. So that's a fairly decent bunch. They were $2.30. The Brussels sprouts were $6.50, marked down to $3.96. They are sort of at the end of their best before date, but I find they were still really firm. It's just the ends that were a little bit brown. I've checked all of them, um, and we're going to have those very shortly anyway. So, um, And I always take those ends off when I cook anyway, so take the ends off and a couple of the outer leaves, and they'll be fine. So... I have those. They were, like I said, they were $3.96. A bunch of radishes. So my husband doesn't really like these. Kale thinks they're too hot. So I will just probably slice a couple of these and have in with my salad when I take them to work. So I'll just chuck, take them all off the leaves, pop them in a little container and just cut them up as I need them. They were $4.50. Uh, continental cucumbers. Well, they were a better size and a better price today. So I got one. So we can have our Greek salad. They were $2.80 um, today and they're a much bigger size than what they have been. So I did get those. I still got Kale's cutes for his lunch. They were 250 grams for $3. So they were still on special as well. I got some cherry tomatoes because I can pop them whole just in my lunch because then now when they rattle around so the tomato doesn't go all mushy everywhere. 250 grams for $3.50. Some more eggs. I caught up with a friend yesterday and she's going to bring me some eggs for her little hobby farm, uh, but she forgot. So I thought I'd better buy some because I have been obviously having eggs for brekkie and I put one in the butter biscuits when I make them and things like that. So we just needed to have some in there. I got the Woolworths cage free eggs. They're $5.40. So I feel they've gone up a little bit, but there has been an egg shortage around. So um, yeah, so that's what we've got. Um, the double chop chick muffin, they had a single one of these. I got the blueberry one for kale last week and they had, and the only thing was it was a bit, um, across the bottom it was like a bit burnt, but this one actually, I don't know, it doesn't look burnt on the bottom, um, but either way, it was $1.71 marked down from $2.25. Maybe they were just deciding to put them up in containers to sell them off. So I got that one for him. He'll probably share that with my husband for afternoon tea. And then the Mighty Soft Cafe Raisin Toast was the loaf on special. They were half price at $3.75. So these are normally up over $7, which is just crazy. Um, but yeah, the half price. So I got him one of those. So that's it. So the fresh bread that I get for sandwiches, we've got a local bakery. Um, on the Normally on the Monday morning, but I did go 
today because Kale uh, had a performing arts workshop yesterday and they had their performing arts showcase last night at school. So all the music students get together and perform like a little bit of a concert. The drama kids uh, or then the media kids kind of put on um, little skits and, and stuff as well. They involve all the kids, even all the percussion ones and stuff like that. So it's a great night. So I didn't get bread yesterday. I went and got it this morning. I'll get a loaf of white bread, which Kale makes his sandwiches with, a loaf of multigrain. Sometimes I'll get a treat. They'll either have donuts or slices or cinnamon buns or meringues or something I'll sometimes get a packet of those as well so I don't spend any more than $15 at the bakery um, once a week which gives us that really fresh bread and that bread stays fresh right through till the weekend so it's a good value I've got to go (laughs) sounds funny I've got to go across the other side of town but it literally is like 10 minutes away. So it doesn't take me very long to get there. So I just scoot over when they open at seven o'clock in the morning um, and I'm back in time to get Kale's sandwiches. um, Well, his lunch made before he gets on the bus, uh, leaves home to get on the bus at five to eight. So um, yeah, we've, that's the other shop that we do. Otherwise I actually don't buy anything during the week. Very, very, very rarely I'll be out of something and I'll go and buy it. And that'll usually be milk or I've forgotten sour cream or the dog's yogurt or something like that. I, I don't go and do any other shopping during the week. So what you see here is what gets us through the week, including what's in my cupboard and my pantry. So I have today a total of 45 items, which I'm pretty happy with because That tells me that I'm keeping um, around about that quantity. Uh, The price is a little bit up, but it's because I've got all these large um, prices in my meat because I've got probably 30, 40, 50, 50 odd dollars worth of meat, 55, 56 dollars worth of meat there, which is like a large chunk of my shop. I've spent a total of 230 $4.50 and my savings for all the specials etc was $42.85 this week. I've earned 1370 everyday rewards points so I have banked another $10 for Christmas so I've now got $290 saved for Christmas and if I play it well by next week which will be the second week in September uh, sorry third week in September I should have $300 to spend for Christmas which is pretty good. They usually ramp up their points towards the end of the year so you can bank a few more. So I'm still on track to possibly get $400, which will be nearly two weeks worth shopping, which I will be stoked about. So that's what I've got to share with you today. Um, I also have a little bit of a confession. I went to put up my vlog from New Zealand and realised that I've deleted lots of the stuff I've recorded. So I got really bummed, threw it in the corner and didn't do anything with it. I was going to just not put it up, but I've got some really nice footage of what's there. So I am going to just put it together. It's just going to be a little bit haphazard. So um, I've decided I am going to get that done. Um, And then I've got um, subscription boxes that I have um, got ready to go and um, some more filming and stuff that I'll get done. So that is coming. Yes, there's been a couple of weeks without that. So, but thank you for bearing with me. Life's just been a bit crazy. But that's what I've got to share with you this week. I hope you've all been having a great week. Um, And on the subscription box side of it, obviously I'm very close to 600. So once I get the 600 subscribers, I'll be doing another giveaway. I did also this week reach the milestone of my 4,000 watch hours, which is required for monetization, which I was stoked about because I'm like literally almost at 600 subscribers. So I've still got quite a few to go, but to have reached my 4,000 watch hours made me very, very happy because I thought that was going to be the impossible task. So that's what I've got to share with you today. I hope you've been having a great week. Until next time, take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye.